believe me if I told you that God does not need your help in making you into the person he wants you to be. You are waiting for the bad habits to stop, the smoking to quit, the unhealthy decision making to stop before you come to God. But trust me when I tell you that he will accept you just the way you are. With all of your flaws, he knows your imperfections. John 4.14 But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. He wants the bruised and battered when you show up. If we were perfect, then Jesus, then you will have no need for him. However, since we are all humans in a fallen world, we all have flaws that God can change to make us better people for him and others. Romans 12.2 tells us, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. God does not want us to be perfect to come to him. Romans 3.23 reminds us in Romans 3.10, As it is written, None is righteous, no, not one, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. He does not want us to work out our own salvation because that day will never arrive. Matthew 11, 25, 30 tells us, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. We must give every burden that we carry to him so that he can release it from you. Psalm 68, 19 through 20 speaks, The Lord deserves praise. Day after day he carries our burden, the God who delivers us. You have not gone too far for God to be able to help you come back. The good news is, when you feel that your life is not going as you planned, know that God does not make mistakes, and He anticipated you making the mistakes you've made. Psalm tells us that this God, His way is perfect. The word of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all those who take refuge in him. That's what his free salvation, him dying on the cross for you, was all about. He wants and has taken the load from whatever challenges you're facing away. So when you're at your lowest point and you have nowhere to go, just scream out, Jesus help me, and your life can and will forever change. Come to him. He's waiting on you just as you are. In conclusion, some run away from God. Others turn to God for support and security. It is necessary for us to also know God and view him as our defender and confidant. A father who listens to us when we call on him, who shows grace and forgiveness. When we are in anguish and who gives strength when we are tired, he is our only hope and salvation. This is why we must know God, establish a close relationship with him through private prayers, often and serving others. The Lord Jesus Christ is sent by God the Father of Jesus. Therefore, everything 
will fall in alignment with his plan for you and your life. His dying and rising from the dead summarized all the love of God. Following the Lord Jesus, we dedicate ourselves to following in his footsteps. Only through Jesus can we envision the Father and his will for our lives. Thank you so much for listening. Like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.